What's poppin' y'all? It's Panda, back at them today with another video. Today we're playing Roblox Ar oh, Roblox Phantom Forces. Cause, I don't know, I just didn't feel like Arsenal. Anyways, I'm sorry I haven't recorded in a little bit. I've been on vacation. I just got home last night. So yeah, we're back, and with more videos. So for starters today, I'm gonna talk about how, well, the vacation went. We were going to go to Daytona Beach, but, you know, COVID-19 shut down literally everything. So I haven't had much that I can do, so we decided to go to Tennessee. And, you know, to me, I've never actually been to Tennessee, so I always expected it to be nothing but fields. Boy, was I wrong. Dang, we're getting refinery. Turns out Tennessee has a lot of water parks. Didn't know this, but it was apparently the water park capital or something. I don't know what the advertisement thing said but yeah it's really cool anyways so while i was down there we stopped at a water park hotel thing that we stayed at for the two days we were there well more like yeah two days anyway so yeah and we got changed and everything we were going out to the pool and stuff oh yeah shifts to run in this isn't it <laughs> uh yes yeah, so we we're going out to the water park and pool stuff and they had one of those drop slides you know the ones where uh the literal floor drops out from underneath you and you kind of just hope not to die. Yeah, they had one of those. Whoa, he died quickly. Anyway, so yeah, they had one of those. And when we got there, they, they had like a loop, like almost a semicircle loop, right? And they this girl went down it and she didn't make the loop, so she just fell right back. She had to go out the emergency hatch to get out. And, you know, a normal person would have seen that happen and been like, well, I'm not riding that anymore. I decided to ride it like six times. It's pretty cool. Ah, you're not, you're on my team. Anyway, so, yeah. But on my first time going down it, there was this old man. He was really nice. And he wanted to do the uh, tube ride slide. And he asked me if I wanted to do it with him, but I told him, nah, I was going to go ahead and do this ride. I haven't done it yet. So, you know, I, one of the scary parts about the slide is... Before they lock you in, they decide to give you a little bit of spook by saying, Good luck, hope you make it. So, you know, they're trying to spook you. And another thing is they have a countdown. It just goes three, two, one, in like the most robotic voice ever. So, you know, it's just kind of there to spook you a bit. But once you're going down, it, you just can't see anything from the water squirting in your face. It sprays you down, basically. Anyway, so I got to the bottom. I made the loop. I'm super cool. Anyway, so I got to the bottom, and I got out, and I heard a noise behind me, and it was the next person going down. Well, there was no one behind me in the line going on for the ride. So out when the guy comes out, I wanted to see who it was. And it was the really cool old man. He got out and stepped out. He's like, yo, you kids are well, crazy and wild to do this. He was really cool. So he ended up riding, and uh, he went down like two more times with me. He was really nice. Um, Basically, after that, though, we decided to go to Gatlinburg, which is, just, you know, uh, mountain land, I guess, in a sense, but they had a lot of tourist attractions. One of the tourist attractions there was, um, a wax illusion museum, if that makes sense. So everything was wax people, but it was still illusions. And we decided to go inside. It was, like, really cheap, so we were like, yeah, why not? So when we got inside, the first thing was Merlin's Levitation. Watch Merlin levitate. Right? And, you know, I, I didn't think of this when we were going in, but, you know, the cheaper the place is, you know, the less effects it's going to have. And one of the uh, interesting things were, we were looking at Merlin, and you could just see him on a track. You literally saw the gears raise him up. We're like, wow, very elusive. It was, it, But it was still cool in the end. I, I highly advise if you're ever in Gatlinburg. Anyway, so, you know, we got out, and, you know, we left. We went home. So I got home last night around, like, what, 2 in the morning? So, yeah, if I'm rambling or just kind of space out, I'm sorry, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's, like, 10.30 that I'm recording this. Anyways, in other news, I woke up today around, like, 11. I know it was late, but, you know, I woke up early, or went to bed really late, whatever. And for some this is a known fact that not many people know but for the past three years i've been trying to convince my mother to let me get a dog you know i've always wanted my own dog she has a dog dog doesn't really like me it kind of hates me but i've always wanted my own so i finally convinced my mother to take me up to the animal shelter 
We were originally looking at this dog named Sadie. She's a German Shepherd. Yeah, just German Shepherd doesn't want to say mix, but no, she's just German Shepherd. And we were looking at her, but the issue was she had heartworms. And basically, if her, her blood pressure went up, like, at all, she'd basically just die. And, you know, none of us really, no, no offense to the dog, but we, we would somehow get it psyched up and we weren't going to have that. So we were kind of sitting there and just in the sad thing of knowing that I wouldn't be able to get that one. Until one of the ladies full speed freaking book it over to us and scream, Hey, 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 but there's another dog named Mia here. You should totally go look at Mia. Take Mia. Please take Mia. I don't know why she just really wanted Mia to get adopted, like, more than any other dog there. Ooh, an AK-47? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. So, basically, we looked at Mia. We got Mia, basically. But, yeah, before we got Mia, we took her outside, and, you know, she was super chill. And my mom was deciding if she wanted to get her. She's like, eh, well, let's wait. Also known as, I don't want her. We got in the car, but, you know, my little convincing self finally convinced her. And we got back... Ah, person. Ah, they hit me. And when we got back, like, three other families were looking at her. And I don't know why all three families didn't get her, but they all decided to wait. Don't ask why, they just did. So we got Mia. And she's super cool. So if you hear any growls or whimpering, it's because she's trying to get into my bedroom because she's super attached to me. It's kind of weird she follows me everywhere. I've never had a belt follow me everywhere. Yeah, she, if you hear any whimpering, it's because she's literally just sitting outside my bedroom door as we speak. I've heard her whimper a couple times while I'm in here. And, yeah, so she's super cool. But while we were adopting her, they said, she's not good with other dogs. And we're like, but she was super chill with the dogs outside. They're like, well, the computer says so, and the computer don't lie. We're like, well, okay. So we took her outside just to test with another dog that just happened to be there. I don't know what computer this computer thinks. That dog was just completely fine. It just sat there and stared at the other dogs. We put her in this like battle royale scenario with like 50 other dogs. And she just sat there. She was vibing. So yeah, we got her. So yeah, she's super cute. Super cool. I can't wait to take her to the dog park Monday. Before school starts on Tuesday. Which leads into another thing. Why would they start school on a Tuesday? I don't really understand. I don't know if it's because August 4th, they just wanted us to go back on that exact date, or what. But, but you know, August, or Tuesday is just a weird day to send us back to school. <gasps> Lightsaber. I can't deflect bullets. Right, well, I'm dead. Yeah, Tuesday is just a weird day to send us back. But, yeah, I'm excited to take her to the dog park Monday and all that. So, yeah, that's basically why I haven't uploaded and what's been popping and going on in my life. I'm really sorry, again, that I haven't uploaded. It's just, you know, I've been busy and all that. So, yeah. In other news, like I said, with school, I'm not ready for that at all. I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to go back. They were going to let us go back digitally, but my mother, and I quote, I don't talk to enough kids outside of school to go back digitally. So I'm stuck going back physically, which I'm just not excited for at all. So yeah, I'm just not ready for the waking up super early. Holy cow, the AK-47 is not that good. I'm not ready to go back early. I don't want to have to get up all that day. And I don't really want to have to deal with other kids, because a lot of the people I'm friends with aren't going back physically, which means I'm stuck with the kids I don't enjoy. <laughs> And, it's, yeah, I'm not ready for that, because a lot of the kids I don't enjoy are the obnoxious ones that don't shut up during the lesson, which get me really angry. I'm normally super chill, but if you're interrupting while the teacher is talking and, like, you know, won't stop after he's asked, mul he or she has asked multiple times, you're going to get under my skin a little bit, you know? So, yeah, I'm just not ready for all that. But, you know, we're going to hope. We're going to see what happens. And, yeah, another thing I'm not ready for is Marching Man. See, Marching Man's cool. I love Marching Man. But at the same time, I, I hate it. See, I enjoy the kids in there. I hate doing anything else. So I'm just, ooh, band person. I don't know what they did, but sure. I'm one of those people that just see a button and says yes. Anyways, so, yeah, I'm just not ready for having a 
deal with all the band kids and well not the band kids as much as just having to go to football games again because that's going to make my recording schedule go really wacky because Tuesdays and Thursdays I have practice and then oh hi and then Fridays I have football games so it's just going to make my recording schedule go all wacky and that's when I'm going to start having to record on weekends and upload on like Sundays it's going to be really weird you know but we'll see what happens you know so I hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like and um, subscribe if you haven't and stay frosty